And something that has sparked a lot of talking points as of recently, Hurricane Melissa. Over the course of this weekend, Melissa rapidly intensified from a tropical storm, now up to Category 5 status. Actually, it's continued to strengthen since the last update. 165 mile per hour winds. Pressure is down to 908 millibars. We talk about when you start to get below the 1000 millibar mark or millibar mark. That's when you start to see strengthening signs with the tropical system. Well, this is nearly 100 millibars below that threshold. But Melissa is moving to the west at three miles per hour. It continues to have a very slow motion. Take a look at that track over the last couple of days. It's really just kind of hung out in this portion of the Central Caribbean, but it has begun to rapidly intensify in a more conducive environment for development. Melissa is forecasted to make a northward turn as we go throughout the rest of your Monday into Monday evening and is forecasted to hit the southern coast of Jamaica, where it's already see, sending bands and bands of tropical rain to as a category five storm. So yes, this is going to have some pretty drastic and devastating impacts down in Jamaica. And then after that, it will weaken a little bit after moving over that much land, but it still is forecasted to impact eastern Cuba as a major hurricane of category three status before eventually moving up into the southeastern Bahamas, pretty close to Turks and Caicos as a category two storm. Then past that, it looks like it's going to continue to make a beeline path over towards Bermuda as still a low end category two or a high end category one storm. The good news is this cone goes well away from the United States. Only areas of southern Florida are probably going to see some increased rip currents and some pretty high waves over the course of the next couple of days. Other than that, U.S. impacts are looking slim to none. So that is a very good sign. But of course, everyone down there in the Caribbean, we're definitely thinking about them. Hopefully they're continuing to take those last minute precautions to prepare for the arrival of major Hurricane Melissa. So speaking of those areas in the Caribbean, we continue to see some watches and warnings issued. That red shade right there, a hurricane warning, meaning hurricane force impacts 74 plus mile per hour winds, but obviously the winds are well above that by nearly 100 miles per hour. That extends for eastern Cuba and the island of Jamaica. Haiti still under a tropical storm warning, meaning the tropical storm force impacts of winds that are a little bit less than 74 miles per hour are still expected within the next 36 hours. And we also see our hurricane watch issued for the Southeast Bahamas and Turks and Caicos right there, meaning hurricane force conditions are likely within the next 48 hours. So of course, all these areas are going to need to stay up to date with all of the updates that come out with Melissa over the next couple of days. But Melissa, with that rapid intensification, it did give us an uptick in some of our numbers. Now makes the fifth hurricane that we've seen so far. It became the 13th name storm that we've seen so far in the 2025 hurricane season as of late last week. Compared to average, what we normally see, 14 named storms. We're only two hurricanes off of what we typically see on average, but we have exceeded average and we have actually matched what Colorado State forecasted for us this year with four major hurricanes. And Melissa now marks the third out of those four hurricanes to reach category five status along with Hurricane Aaron and I believe is Hurricane Umberto and both of those didn't really have too many impacts. But of course, Melissa is looking to probably be the most impactful hurricane that we've seen in this in the 2025 hurricane season.